Hello, my dears, it's Katie. I'm a master level Reiki practitioner, as you may already know, and I'm so glad you're joining me today for this kind of impromptu guided energy work session. I wanted to do this in a kind of come as you are. You don't have to be a energy worker. You don't have to be anything but yourself. Um, because I know that within us, we all have the power to make a little change, even if it's something as small as a smile, as small as setting the intention to aid others and ourselves. So thank you for joining me. And if you will, uh, if you're willing, what I'd like to do in today's session is to focus on A, protecting ourselves, grounding ourselves, but also through us, through the cords we share with those we love, through the cords they share with those they love, and beyond, to set this sense of holding space for everyone in this time of great fear, of anxiety, of worldwide upheaval. So if we can, if you're willing, I'm going to go ahead and set an intention and then guide us through connecting with our heart space, connecting with the energy, the love that flows through all of us, to use that to hold space for all that we can, for everyone we can, in an effort to send grounding, protection, love, and peace to the time and space when it's needed most. And I do think so many of us need it right now. Sound good? Let's get started. Guides, angels, ancestors, spirit of the highest truth and compassion, loving universe. It is my intention to channel universal love and an energy and to guide those watching and doing the same in support of grounding, of sending peace, of balancing energy of protection and love that when we do some small part in shifting the energy in support of bringing an end to this pandemic, of supporting those on the front lines, those people still operating our grocery stores, our doctors, our nurses, those people still forced to come into work because they are unable to work from home. And all of us all of the rest of us who are doing what we can to flatten the curve. And for all of those of us who are already battling the disease within ourselves, doing what we can to boost their well being, to support their immune systems, to aid in recovery, however we can energetically. Let this session be one that brings the energy where and when it's needed across time and space to everyone it's meant to touch and support. And so it is. I'm going to use the crackle candle today because I find the sound soothing and we can all use a bit more self-soothing today, can't we? I ask this smoke to cleanse my aura of anything not in alignment with this session, to cleanse yours as well, that our energy may be clear and balanced as we begin this collective energy work. I dropped something, but we're good. Okay, so, <coughs> pardon me. I'd like you to begin by joining me in drawing some energy to our palms. And we can do that as simply as just rubbing them together. And you'll feel that tingle, okay? And feel it kind of shift as you draw your palms to and from. And if you can't actively feel it, then set the intention to 
producer to imagine so. And with that energy drawn to our hands, we're gonna draw that energy down from the crown of our head all the way down the body, sinking that energy through us that we may be grounded before we begin. Okay, drawing the energy again and allow me now to set the intention to send this across time and space to aid you in doing so as well. That this may support any and all who need it at the time and space that they need it. Allow me now to assist you in absorbing these symbols for release and for strength. That you may channel this through the cords you share with others and beyond through them, onward and onward and onward, that we may assist everyone, everyone that we can. So to you, with your hands on your heart, send this, this energy, this power, this support, that you may channel it as well. I ask you now, with your hands on your heart, to join me in asking, dear universe, dear guides, angels, and ancestors, please allow me to channel your love, energy, and support, your protection through the cords I share and through everyone I touch to the cords that they share with others as well, that it may spread out like a web of light, of protection to every corner of the earth. With your assistance, aid us in holding space We open the channel now. And if you agree, say yes. If you accept this intention, say yes. I accept this intention. I echo this intention now. And so it is. With your hands on your heart, I'd like you to see light flowing through you with every breath you take in, the light grows stronger and you can feel it flowing in from the top of your head all the way through your body and down through your feet into the ground below you. And if you're on a top floor, if you're above ground level, it trickles down through the floor beneath your feet and through every structure connected to it until it reaches ground level and spreads through the earth. Breathe in, draw in that energy. And as we breathe out, we seek to be a valve that allows some of this stress, some of this fear to escape, to be released, to be relieved. And when we feel this connection to source above and a mother earth below, we tune in once again to our heart center. And we think of all those we love. And in our mind's eye, we see them like spots of light on a map. We see the map that shows us where they're located in the world. And through this cord of love we share, we once again draw energy down and through that heart space, we send it down the cords we share with the intention of sending energetic balancing of protection, of love, of grounding. And when it reaches our loved ones, we see this light that we have sent, this energy that we have sent expand and surround them like a bubble of protective light and this first pulse of energy sinks into them 
and allows them to start to light that fire, light that spark, feel that connection to source above and earth below, and it begins to balance them and balance their energy through the intentions that we have set. As long as they and their guides allow it, as long as it's in alignment with their highest and greatest good, so it is. And drawing in energy again with each breath, connecting through our heart space, we send another pulse of energy. And when it reaches them, it expands in another beautiful globe of light, and this sinks into them. And with this pulse, it helps ease the fear and anxiety and stress they are feeling. It lets them know they don't need to carry all of that. It helps send ease in releasing what they don't need to worry about right at this moment. It helps them see more clearly how to be present here, in this moment, how to live in the present moment rather than fearing the future and the past feeling that echo of fear from moments past amplified as we fear the future. Let that be released now, eased now, through this love we share, these pulses of light we send down the cords to them. And if it's easier, I invite you to focus on one person, knowing that they can be this focal point. And as you focus on them, it's still impacting every other person you love and every other person they love and so on and so on and so on. And you don't need to do anything else to spread that. It's happening automatically as we channel this energy. And so it is, so it is, so it is. We draw the energy to our hands again, draw that energy down to our heart. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, we send another pulse of energy. And with this one, we send protection. This globe expands around them like a beautiful suit of armor, like a beautiful impermeable egg, protecting them, protecting their energy, blocking these voices of fear, these voices of doubt, these voices of worry, that they may be grounded here in this moment. We block any energetic impulses, any sparks that are not in alignment with their highest and greatest good. We remove any expectations, any perceptions not in alignment with their highest and greatest good. It flows off of them like water, sinking into the ground where it is transmuted into something positive and in alignment with someone else's highest and greatest good and released back out into the universe to serve them. So it is, like the cycle of water falling from the sky into the ground, serving the plants, being released back out into the air, that cycle of water moving. We draw the energy to our hands again and down to our heart. And with this pulse of energy, we see it sinking into them and highlighting their connection to the earth allowing that connection to be felt strong and growing, that they may be grounded, that they may be steady, that even in these moments of tower-like destruction, they may be calm at the center of the storm. They may be immovable. They may only be moved when they are so called in alignment with their highest and greatest good, they are steady, they are stable, they are protected and their foundation is secure. And so it is. We withdraw the energy down again to our hearts. down to our hearts and with this breath we send a pulse of blue blue light 
that shines with iridescent rainbow that surrounds them and brings them a sense of ease, of peace, of comfort. This this sense of relaxing the places where they've been holding tension. This, this moment of release, of allowing the tension to drain from them, that they may feel ease, that they may feel relief. And so to you, so do you as well. Because as you've been serving them, so too have these intentions been protecting and serving you. And now we're going to think about our communities as we draw that energy down to our heart. We're going to focus on where we're sitting or standing or laying down and allow the energy to flow through us into the ground below us and out into our cities, into our towns, into our neighborhoods, into our states and countries and beyond, allowing it to fill the earth, fill the earth with this protective energy, this, this holding of space, that this energy we're sensing from all of the people working to heal this, to end this pandemic, to aid one another, that it may be supported, that there may be this boost of energy available to them whenever they need it, through every step they take upon the ground, through every time the breeze brushes their face, through every time they hear rain or the sound of water moving, through every time they feel sunshine on their skin. Allow these moments to be births of energetic support to serve them in however they need. And with each breath, we put more power behind that intention. We send more energy. We channel it through us. And if you feel so called, see now a whole host of angels, a whole host of loving guides, of loving energy supporting you and transferring this energy and channeling it and making it available. And know, know you are a node, a portal through which this supportive energy can reach those it needs to. Know that right now you are doing your part to assist. And feel the gratitude of all those impacted fill you now. Feel that love and peace echoed back to you. And allow it to double and triple as it echoes back and forth along these cords along these channels we have opened. Allow this healing and protection and grounding to grow exponentially with each breath we take, with each time we draw the energy to our hands and press it to our hearts. Let it be as simple as that, drawing energy to our hands and pressing it to our hearts for us to reinforce this work that we have done today, this energy work we have done in support of all of us, of everyone. And so it is, thank you guides, angels, ancestors, spirit. Thank you as well, my dear friends, for joining me in channeling this. And as we breathe, this time I want you to focus on drawing in energy like cool, cool blue water, filling you with a slight cooling sensation. 
soothing the channel that you have opened, coating it so that you may cut it off and still allow it to be open to those who need it while removing it from yourself. Until the next time you flip that switch, tap into it by drawing energy to your hands and pressing it to your heart. And as that cool blue light reaches from the crown of your head all the way down to your fingertips and toes, as you feel filled with it, join me now. Universe guides, angels, ancestors, thank you for allowing us to be a conduit for your energetic support. Thank you for allowing us to channel this. Thank you for aiding us and continuing to hold space, for holding it for us as we ground ourselves back in our bodies, because we know we are here to create in this world. We are here to live in this world, in this moment, but we also know we can tap back into this space and send it more energetic support as often as we need to. We know we can open that channel simply by drawing energy to our hands, pressing them to our hearts and breathing and ending that energetic support simply by saying, so it is, thank you guys, Angel Spirit Universe. And so too do we now end this channeling. with deepest love and gratitude to you, loving universe, and to one another. We end this session now, and if you agree, you, my dear viewers, echo me in saying, and so it is. Taking another breath now and focusing on that breath to draw our energy back into ourselves. Becoming aware of our feet, of our hands, of the sensations that we feel here in our body as we ground ourselves back here in this moment. Each you in closing off that channel. Beautiful. And from me to you in gratitude, one more burst of energy, of protective light, of love. And so it is. Thank you so much for joining me in this session today. Given that we've all done a bit of energy work here today, make sure that when you leave this video, you go and have some water, possibly eat something. Make sure if you can't do that, then stomp or clap your hands or do something to draw yourself back into your skin, to ground yourself here. You may find that over the next few hours or the next few days, you have emotions come up. So be gentle with yourself. And when you feel those moments, you can also set the intention to balance your own energy. And whatever your dominant hand is, that is the one you should be using to send energy to others. And the non-dominant is when you need to receive it yourself. And you can do this as easily as setting the intention, saying, universe, I am drawing this energy in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your help. And when done, and so it is. These sessions, these small moments of balancing, let them serve you as you have just served others. Let these be moments of support to you in this trying time and in any other trying time you encounter in your lifetime. We have sent this energy across time and space, yes, to focus on this specific situation, but because it was sent with so much love and gratitude and grounding and the intention of protection, it is available across time and space for you and those you love and those they love and so on, whenever and as often as they need it, not just for this situation, but for any other situation as well. And so it is. 
Once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me, for adding to this collective energy of support. There are so many of us doing the same. And if you feel called to echo this again on the night of the full moon and the night of the new moon, these nights when so many people are connecting, every time you see another member of your community saying, please join me in sending this energy, please join me in doing this, please join me in praying and sending a loving thought, you have that power now. You always have and you always will. So once again, thank you. Thank you so much for assisting me, for assisting yourself, for assisting everyone. I will be back with additional videos soon. I do hope you'll join me again, but if not, that's okay. I simply appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Until next time and always, be well.